Right, hello everybody. Um, here we are back with the uh, video for the RTL SDR radio kit. Uh, as you see from uh, from where I showed it on the update video, uh, I've actually taken it out of the anti-static bag and um, I've got to say it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Um, what we have here is we have uh, that will be the case, which will uh, just sit together like that. Um, no, it won't all sit together like that because it is uh, it is uh, grooved to uh, fit together. So um, there we go. Uh, so we've got a case. We've got two end plates. Um, obviously, front and back, whichever way round it gets built. Um, one obviously has the USB and the LED. The other has the two aerial sockets. No, it even says so on the underside what each aerial socket's for. So that's the case. I'm going to put that to one side for now because we don't quite need that yet. Um, I'm also going to put the USB cable, um, which actually looks like a, quite a decent one. Um, quite a heavy duty 28 and 24 AWG uh, works with USB 2. It, it does look quite a heavy cable, but I'm going to put that to the side because we don't need that while we're building the kit. Uh, and the same for the uh, magnetic antenna um, with our little, I think that's an SMA socket on the end of there. So, um, the only problem uh, with this kit, after I put that over there, is that there are no instructions. So, you have to go hunting around on the interweb thingy and uh, find basically you find a website that's uh, that's got it um and uh, the one i found is uh, by um an am a radio amateur called ba5 sba and uh, looking at the picture of his uh, kit it's exactly the same as uh, what i've got in front of me so i'm going to uh, use um use that now it's obviously been uh, written english is not his first language um ba5 being a chinese uh, a call sign um so it says check the kit's plastic bag all parts contrast images um, i am actually reading this off my laptop which is on the bench um, so I'm going to now check the kit of parts against the uh, against the little picture that they've got there. Um, right. So what have we got here? We've got uh, right. Well, we've got some uh, little bits of wire. We've got a big bit of wire. We've got a. So that would be the wire that they want you to make the coil from. We've got an LED and it also says um, attention to keep good in a small ferrite bead. Do not lose it. Well, that's it. So you're going to, we're going to need that later. I better not lose that. Um, they're the screws that I would imagine go in the case. Um, I'm probably going to put them back in the bag. So let's... Uh, Six screws, obviously they expect you to lose something. Uh, seven. Um, I don't think my bench was on that much of a slope. Um, either that or everything shifted. I'm going to have the whole lot come down crashing on me. Right, okay. So there we go. So we've got the screws in there. Um, we've got some surface mount components in that one. And they're not in that picture. Um... SMD components all 0805 package have welding is PCB. Please check whether there is leakage solder and cold solder joint. So basically he's saying to uh, fit the SMD components first. Now, oh, do I do this live? No, it's probably going to take a little while, especially with me reading on. Um, so... What I'll do is I'll, I'll get started. Um, let's uh, take the SMB components out of the um, out of the bag. 
and see what we've got. So we've got uh, they look like the, uh, their capacitors and so are those. There's a, a USB socket, I can understand that bit quite well. Um, another capacitor, three more capacitors, three resistors, and that looks like a, a little LED, a little green LED. Okay, um, right. Because, yes, because I'm going to be soldering um, fine bits and pieces, I think. Uh, I think it's probably best if I uh, stop the camera at this point and um, just do this in stages and just try and uh, get everything on the board, um, especially the uh, uh, especially the surface mount bits first, um, and, and follow that through. Um, it doesn't actually have any component values on there, which makes things a little bit more difficult, but. Uh, um, I shall have to work it out from the uh, from the pictures. Okay, back soon. See you then. Okay, now we're back. And uh, yes, the uh, device is complete, but, and here's the but, um, it doesn't seem to work on the laptop on this bench um, for some reason. Um, what I have done is I have taken it over to my main PC, plugged it in and installed the software and it's fine. But for some reason, Windows 7 doesn't want to uh, play ball. Uh, it says it can't install the driver. So um, I will look into to that and um, see why not. Um, but as it stands, um, I have picked up some uh, FM radio stations. Really, um, this little antenna is not good for much. Um, I really need uh, an SMA to uh, PL converter or something like that so that I can plug in one of my uh, rather large uh, ham radio antennas that are outside and um, hopefully we can pick up some uh, some other things but uh, apart from that um, yeah it's a nice little unit but if you're not experienced at soldering um, and if your eyesight is as bad as mine buy one ready made um, <laughs> the reason for that I'm going to try and zoom in with the camera and see if we can keep you in focus Right, um, no, not yet. Come on, let's see if we can focus it in manually. Right, okay. What you have there uh, in the middle um, here, you have the main chip um, which does all the work. And the problem with that is um, part of this modification is you have to solder two hair-like wires to two of the pins there. Now, I've, I've played with um, surface mount components in the past, and um, that's one of the reasons, as you can see, you can just about see those little pads there. Um, it's like trying to solder hair. Um, the, the wire is incredibly thin. Um, Let's come back out again and uh, let's, uh, there we go, back into focus. But, yep, yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, the, the wire is incredibly thin. Um, that's actually two pieces together. Um, see if I can find an individual strand. And ba basically, this is what you have to solder. Now, I don't know about most people. Um, I'm quite lucky in that uh, my soldering iron tip there is a 0.7 millimeter tip, and even that is too big for these particular uh, this particular job, really. So um, yeah, um, <laughs> 
if, you, if you're not experienced in soldering and you haven't got the right gear, um, I would say buy one ready made. It's uh, it's a very nice kit, and um, hopefully I'll be able to uh, get the software working and do another video on that. Um, I started around about uh, half past eleven, I think the time was when I started the video. Um, it's now half past four in the morning. Um, so for something with so few components, um, it's it's a bit of a challenge and um, I did say quite a few rude words uh, not too loudly because everybody else is asleep but um, yes it it, um, it did get a little bit uh, blue in here so um, yeah buy one ready made plug it in it should work um, until I can do the rest of the video um, thanks very much for watching and um, Hopefully, when I get software working, I'll do a, a full um, run through. I might even do it on the main machine as a screen capture, and then you can uh, see what we've got coming through. Okay, thanks very much. Bye bye for now.